Welcome to Road to Untradables, my long-running spawn picker series in which I try to unlock every single untradable item within the game. Welcome to RTU. Mamma mia, give me a second to Urp. Ooh, epic bad box, not bad. Go, go, go. Mm, yeah, just me. Why not? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's get a double real quick. Just because. <gasps> no way! <laughs> yes! <laughs> What's going on everyone? Metal Raymond here and welcome back yet again to another Spawn PK video. RTU episode number 103. Blows my mind every time to start that sentence with a hundred, but here we go. Today we are finally unlocking a brand new untradeable, mainly because someone kind of gave it to me, which is quite interesting, so look a little forward to that one. And on top of that, we are also looking at um, attempts on another untradeable. So there is definitely something to look forward in this episode. However, before we get into all of that good shit, Let's roll the giveaway. We have two $100 bonds for two lucky winners. All you need to do is, of course, subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment your in-game name down below and turn on the post notifications. If you've done all of that, you enter the giveaway. Wish you all the best of luck on that. If you're new to Spump K and want to try out the game for yourself, please do use the link at the top of the description and scroll down a little bit further to find invites to the, both my private Discord as well as the Discord of Spump K itself. At the end of the video, we'll also be covering some giveaway winners from previous videos, so definitely stay tuned for that. And with that being said, let's get into this video. And welcome ladies and gentlemen as you guys saw I did a lot of rushing yesterday in the dragon and uh, 
it was okay, I guess. I mean, I didn't get too many uh, really insane loots or anything like that. I did get one cask in the entire hour of two times chance, even though I got like 40 plus kills. I mean, I don't show all of them. But there's a lot of kills that I got, and fucking one casket is such a joke, dude. Give me a Grand Falcon, please. Anyway, <clears throat> that was kind of garbage. The one casket did give me a gold artifact. I forgot to record that, but, you know, that puts me up to 19, almost halfway there. <laughs> For a grand promo. Other than that, you know, pretty decent. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, check out my bank a little bit and try selling some shit that I just don't use anymore, don't find necessary anymore in my bank. Try to get that cash stack up as much as we can and maybe go ahead and try some sort of untradeable attempts because I feel like those are a bit lacking lately. Well and as you can see I do have quite some items that I'm able to sell right now. Don't plan to use them anytime soon unless like a beginning update comes out or some shit like that. But I can always buy shit back. So likes 175, play buddy 265. That's a crazy difference between the pieces right there. <clears throat> And I don't really care too much. I'm gonna put this in for 255. 10 bill under. Should be good. How much is the Yoshi now? 160 almost. Not bad at all. Going back up. I mean, it was like 130 bill the other day. So, you know, that wasn't good. <clears throat> Blood syrup. 90 bill. I bought that yesterday for like 70. So, you know, can't complain. Although I did lose one. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's forget about that happening. Just a sire, how much are you right now? Pretty fucking cheap! 60, 70... Probably try and sell both pieces for 70 or 80 bill. Something like that. It will have to make do. 70 for that one and I'll do this one for 80 bill. Why not? Just putting in the most expensive items first. Whoops. Karanja gloves. Three? 42 bill! Oh yeah! I thought it was like 20, dude. Easy money. Easy money, easy money. Oh, I have another Justice Art chest guard, but I think I have one more in the TP already. Let's make this two. And then let's change the price of this one to 75. Like 8 bill cheaper than the colored one. Already at 5 through in the TP, but. I put the Grassy Blood Rapiers up because I just don't want to sell them for so stupidly cheap. I feel like they need to be better and they need to be buffed and I really fucking hope that Ryan, you know, listens and updates it sometime soon because it's fucking garbage. So in hopes of that happening in the future, I'm not gonna sell it right now for really cheap because, you know, if I sell it extremely cheap and then the update comes out then I kind of fucked myself right there. You know, all the other items are kind of on the junky side, not gonna lie, so I think we'll speed it up a little bit. Default boots, like 3 bill each, but I have 20 of them, so that ain't even that bad. 3.5, 20, easy money. Alright, I think you guys get the idea, everything else is kind of on the cheap side. Might even just chuck it all for blood diamonds, because it takes too long to sell, and diamonds are even easier to sell. Alright, it seems like Tormented Bracelets are at a pretty good price right now, so let's just try and buy a bunch of them and, you know, go for it. Look at that cash tag draining, draining, draining. It's 5 per attempt, so it's still quite expensive, but they used to be 50 bill plus, so this is already a huge win in my book to get so many below 40 bill even. Um, fuck, dude, how much is this? 225. Oh man, it's going down so quick. And then just two more for 4 attempts. Now let's just pray to God that we'll see it in 4. <laughs> Probably not because it's a 5% chance. Doesn't seem very likely, but... <sighs> okay, come on, where is it? Tormented Bracelet, there we go. 5% chance, 5 each. Good luck. 1. Rip. 2. A rip. 3. A rip. And 4. A rip. Okay, cool. Well then, that's a whole lot of money gone. <laughs> As you would expect, I mean, that's the fucking enchanted chest for you, you know? Ah, what can you do about it? Fuck. I hate that thing so much. Alright, bought myself a few attempts for the enchanted capes. So, let's go ahead and make them and then hope for the best. Alright, just gonna fucking try it. I feel like if I, if I can just make it inside, we should be all Gucci. Honestly. Question is, can we though? 
Yeah, we have some people like this. It's a bit annoying, but should be A-OK. -okay. That's the magic word right now. Oh wait, I can do it with a fucking din? OK. Good enough for me. The thing is, if I just can get inside and enchant my capes, then I'll keep him on death anyway, and I don't lose jack shit. And I only have 5 shards instead of 10. Very smart. Very, very smart. Okay. Where are you, Collodian? Give me cape. Unholy. Oh yeah, I have to kill something for it. I completely forgot. Wait, can I just kill it like this? Does that work? Okay, thank fuck. If I had to mage that little shit, that would have been annoying. I completely forgot you have to kill something in order to get the cape. Hey, thank you very much, man. Glad to hear. TT. Imbued Samurai Mage Cape. I don't even have to bring the normal ones, apparently. So, you know. Okay, time for the second one. I really wanted to bring two, but now that I know it, I have to kill something. That makes my life a little bit easier, I suppose. And only just now spotting that my camera was all offset and shit, so my apologies for that. Right, and that's going to be uh, the last uh, one. Five capes in total in the bank now. Very nice, let me just check. I do keep everything, I do. I'll lose some shit. All right, go for it. It's easier to die than to walk all the way back. <clears throat> Easy game. I'm so scared that I actually lose something even though I shouldn't. I wonder if he'll hit if I use this. <laughs> there we go. TT for the protection, boys. Appreciate. Alright. Oh my, my uh, repair thingy seems to be out of money. What? Haven't seen that in a long, long time. Oh, these don't break though, but this did. Damn. Stored so much money in him as well. Repair broken items, yes, yes. Oh, you don't have enough gold. Okay, let's do this. Repair coffer. I have one bill left, shaking my head. Let's do 1k bags. That should uh, fuel us for a little while at least. Repair. Kaboom. There we go. Now, because this is taking way too long, let's grab all of our capes. Two, two, two. Six in total. I wish I had me good luck. Come on, game. Please give me it on one of these. 10% chance, come on. Two Saradomans, gone. Guffix. Please. Gone. Zemorak. Oh god, please, game. No, fuck! Come on, man, this hurts. Oh, that's so painful. Alright, I have four more attempts, bot. Let's just hope for the best here. God, that's a crowd. Get me through here. Oh god, please don't get frozen by anyone. Wow, can I cut it please? Thank you. That took a while. Okay, go, 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 go. Alright, and there it is. The last cape. Another four has been achieved. Let's go ahead and attack literally any mage. I cannot. Okay, cool. I guess I'll run back. Alright, come on game. Let me be lucky, man. Never get shit at low KC from this chest. Three. Zamorak once and one Saradoma first. Okay, oofed. Three Zamoraks, come on. One, failed. Two, failed. And three, please. Oh, this is so frustrating. I need a fucking back to back doppelganger after that last one to compensate for that shitty ass cape. Thank you, game. Oh, never mind. Anyway, oh man, they're now stupidly expensive in there, in the fucking GE, so. Buying more at this point isn't very worth it and there isn't a whole lot of other items that I can go for at this point in time that are like considered and tradables. I mean, if you guys remember from episode 100 what items we still had left, I mean we have a lot of these but you know, can't get those at the moment without an event going on. So that is kind of a bust right there. 
and Tormented Bracelet, you know, Tormented's are now like over 50 bills, so that is not happening either, fucking dumbass prizes. And then, you know, the capes, and they are now 30 bill a shard, not fucking worth it. That's 150 bill per attempt, and I can't be asked. My cash tag drains so fucking much from these few attempts. Painful. Alright then, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of TOB to make some money, probably gonna go on stream again, and um, yeah, before I do that I wanna open a few tier 10s, or BH crates I should say, in hopes of seeing a Sorcerer's piece, even though the odds are low, but you know, always fun to do. Let's see if we get anything good this time around. But you know, I need to, uh, oh fuck, that's the wrong one. Even though there's a whole lot of emblems in there apparently. Trade from inventory, 40 mil bounties, thank you. But yeah, there's uh, you know, a whole lot of money I need to make back. Haven't been the luckiest lady. 100 blood money? Why? What? what? 100? That's like 1.5. Garbage, dude. Two diamonds, garbage. It's four diamonds, it's a little less garbage. Magic short bow eye, garbage, and a bounty cap. The only decent item that's somewhat profit. What a joke! Alright then guys, so this guy, Rotterdam010, uh, someone in my stream, I'm streaming Runex at the same time, but he wants to give me an Infernal Stone donation, which is absolutely insane if you ask me. Normally, I don't really do that shit, but this is the first time something that crazy has happened. Thank you very much, man. That is absolute mad lad. I've never really went for this stone, mainly because I just don't need an Infernal Cape on Spawn PK. You know, since the Grand Comp and all of that stuff, but... Damn, dude, thank you very much, man, appreciate it. Absolute, uh, absolute legend. All right then, guys, so when it comes to RTU, there is, of course, that one item that I managed to get as a little donation during a Runex stream, which is the Infernal Stone. Someone gave it to me, I appreciate it more than whatever, uh, more than anything in the world, and uh, extremely generous of that guy to give that to me. It's one of those items that I knew I still had to get for the series, but there just wasn't any focus on them because I already am, you know, near max. I have a really good cape, so why did I need the Infernal Cape? However, the Grand Completionist Cape does take over the stats of an Infernal Cape once you have one. And that's why I believe it's important that we actually start creating it. For that, I need 1000 Tokar Kals and I only have 390. So, let's try and buy a few to get to that number. I need 610 more. Let me try and see if... Well, well there, there's a bunch of them right here. I don't care about the price too much. 39 bill? Pfft, oh, I'll take it. Oh shit, I'm 10 short, I can't count. LOL. Talk hard, I need 5 or 10 more. No, 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 no. Can I just... Ah, I have to make coins and stuff. There we go. Boom. No, boom. Yeah, there we go. Fused with 1000 Tokar Kals. Infernal Cape made. Was about fucking time I got this on uh, Metal Raven, wasn't it? That is another item completed on the RTU series. Beautiful. Alright, my ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end off this episode right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Really happy I got the Infernal Cape out of the way as well. Made sure to use it on my Grand Completionist Cape. So now the Cape actually has all the stats of a Infernal Cape rather than its original ones, if I'm correct. Should work like that. Let me check. Inf Infernal Cape. I can't see stats in here. Let let's double check just to make sure. Mm, nope, nope. The comp still has more. Why? Why is this, Ryan? Huh? That shouldn't be the case. It totally should not be the case. There has to be a way to... What? I'm so confused right now. I was told that you can combine them and a Grand Completion Escape should be able to copy the stats of the fucking Infernal Cape. So why is it not doing that? Mind-blowing. It should totally. If it if that's not a fucking option... Uh, please, Ryan? Make it an option? Grand Comp should hands down be the best cape in the game. Like, here, matches the stats of your best completionist or infernal cape. Hello? 
Are you sure? Are you are you, are you sure, Ryan? Um, I don't think so. Something is definitely going wrong right there. Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh, wait a second. It did copy the stats. It just doesn't show when when you hold control over it. Oh, okay. Thank fuck it. I was getting so confused right there for a minute. Anyway, that explains it. Okay, good enough. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, let's hop on to the next giveaway winners, we have a lot to cover. Alright, and let's hop right into it and get it over with real quick. We have these episodes, Tin Merge 1 number 6, RT101, New Fusion, Max Healing, M Chess PK, and we need more updates for all the bonds right behind it. We already have Tin Merge 1 episode 6 loaded up, so let's see who the first winner is for a $50 bond. Good luck and congratulations to Newbie Boy. Congratulations. Let's load up RGU101. Alright, next winner. Make sure you uh, have your PMs on on or make sure you add giveaways to on Spawn PK in order for me to make sure I can PM you in game. Is that an E or an L? I have no fucking clue. You guys make it so hard. I'm pretty sure that's an L. Yeah, that's an L. Good thing I copy pasted it. Very smart. LDAP111, congratulations to you on a $30 bond. The new Fusion Pet PK video, good luck for a $75 bond. 270 users entered on this one, god damn. JD20, congratulations, $75 bond goods to you. Next up, Max Healing, all loaded up, good luck. I also noticed I missed one video, the Limit Breaker uh, nerfed video, so I put that in between there. Max Healing, IP2. PG Godzi Godzi IP2P Godzi Okay, that's a name. $75 bond goes to you. And the video I missed was the Limit Breaker Nerf video for a $100 bond, so let's get that one next. Quite a lot of users on this one as well. Good luck for a $100 bond. Who's going to walk away with all that cash? Roxons, congratulations to you as well. Next up, the M Chest PK video. And this one is going to be for a $30 bond. Showing you guys, a lot of people keep thinking that these shits are rigged, but I'm like literally loading it up and spinning it. You know, you see it is refreshed. I'm not like picking another winner or anything like that, but oh well. Uh, G U U R R 10. Even if I was rigging this, I don't even know half the people on this fucking list right now. Then we need more updates video for a $100 bond. To clarify, it said more PKing updates. So good luck. $100 bond. The second one goes to Timo van der Berg, yeah, fellow Dutchy, King Gamble, congratulations to you. So these are all the winners of this giveaway in this video. $50 bond goes to Newbie Boy, $30 bond to LDAP111, $75 bond to JD20, $100 bond to Roxons, $75 bond to IP2P Godzi, and $30 bond to Your10, and $100 bond to King Gamble. With that being out of the way, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll check you all in the next one. Metal Raymond out.